Now my method of drawing didn't work out so good. Okay. We took our head back from the machine shop because it had cracks in it between the valves so the head is no good. So I found another one that's been remanufactured and it's just missing the camshaft and the followers. So we'll take those off of there and put them on here. You will know that we made this tool so we're going to use it again to get the followers loose. It's a whole lot easier to do when the head is not in the truck. All right, so I put it on the floor so I could uh, work with it a little easier. The table was a little too rickety. I got my head here and I got all the roller rockers out and we should, this thing should spin freely and it's not going so freely so I believe I've discovered why the engine failed now it's still moving some but not without a little persuasion so what had happened is one of these bearings in the top has seized up so I'm gonna try putting a little oil see if we can get them to open back up Maybe we can get it loosened back up. Now we got it moving a little bit. I'm going to get to the business of taking the camshaft out. Next, let's transfer the hydraulic lifters to the new head. Okay, we have the camshaft out. We'll have to examine what it looks like. And it looks like it's seized up right here on this bearing right here. So we're going to have to do something about that. Anyway, we've got all the parts out of the old head ready to go into the new head. I'm going to mop up the oil as much as we can. We've got to get this old head ready to ship. So I've got all the parts that we need off of it. Notice that we're leaving the valves behind because we got new valves with the new head. So we're going to send it back to the manufacturer so they can redo this one and sell it to somebody else.
Now we'll send this one back to the manufacturer and get our core deposit back. It's day 24 of our project. Now that's 24 calendar days. In reality, it's been about 10 working days. Now the machine shop's taken a little bit longer than I first anticipated, but they're doing a good job. I went over there yesterday and I brought them the camshaft and that bird part that I showed you that was all roughed up on number two, well, he looked at it and he said, no problem, I'll polish it up it's, and it'll be good as new. So he's going to polish that and we get all the engine parts back on Monday and this is a Saturday. So we have to wait for that. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to prep this new head for painting since uh, we're going to have everything painted and all new and going back into the engine. So I'm going to take all of the lifters out that I had put and I'm going to very carefully lay them out with their followers, their rollers, and I'm going to point them, oops, and I'm going to point them the way they go in so I can tell which side goes on which. I don't want to get this head all oily just yet because I want to paint it. So we'll take all those out for the time being. These head bolts need to be cleaned up and we may even get new ones. But I'm going to go ahead and just take them out for the time being and set them aside in the order that they came out so I can put them back in the same place if I use the same ones. Laid out in a fashion that I can tell which one goes where. I'm going to prepare this head for paint. The thing that we don't want to do is paint where the gasket goes because we want to have a nice seal on both the intake and the exhaust side. Now the easiest thing to do is to take the gasket and lay it up there and draw around it so you know exactly where to put your, uh, your tape. Uh, since the engine is still at the machine shop, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my intake manifold and exhaust manifold up against there and draw around it. It'll accomplish the same thing. So, uh, of course, my new gaskets are with the engine, so we don't have those to use right now. So let's take this, lay it on its side very carefully. And then we will take and we will place intake manifold where it goes. Line up the holes. Everything's lined up. We'll take Sharpie and we'll just draw around it. Now we know exactly where to put our tape.
Now my method of drawing didn't work out so good. Okay. Now we'll cut out the holes and we'll use just a couple of holes to make sure that we put the uh, intake manifold back in its place. So we'll just hold it in place with a couple of bolts right now, making sure that everything is lined up. These don't need to be tight or anything. They're just going to hold everything in alignment. Now, we can cut away whatever tape is showing. And you can see my results right here. Now there's one spot that didn't come out real well, but I'll use my razor blade. I've got it marked and I can go in there and start taking it out carefully. Okay, we're just about there. And there it is. Now these two holes, I don't want any paint in there, so I'm going to just take a little piece of paint tape and tape them up. We'll repeat this process over the, the whole item until it's ready for paint. Thanks for watching the American Garage. If you like this video, hit the like button and leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.